and welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley and today we are going to make this cute little bear um, with a little secret hidden compartment in it for money or candy or whatever you may want to stash away from your siblings or anyone else that might be, you know, snooping in your house. So first we're going to need a bear. Any type of bear will work. I'm using this bear because I'm going to give this to my mom and she loves Grumpy Bear from Care Bears. You're also going to need a container that will fit inside of the bear's belly. I found this button container at the Dollar Tree for just a dollar. A glue gun to attach it, some scissors to cut your bear's head off, and that's it. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to open your bear if it's in a package. Um, I got mine on Amazon and it came in this little just plastic packaging. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut his head off right around the um, seam of his neck. and. Warning, this could be graphic. I'm going to cut off this bear's head. These scissors that I'm using actually ended up not working for me, so you will see part of the way through that I will change out scissors and get some sharper scissors. So I highly suggest using very sharp scissors because dull scissors just aren't gonna cut through this fabric. Be careful, get an adult to use the scissors for you. Don't cut yourself because, you know, cutting things with scissors can be dangerous and we wanna be safe. So I'm just gonna take these little sharp scissors. These are actually my scissors that came with my Cricut. And I'm going to just cut the bear's head off. As you can see, we have stuffing inside. Poor bear. We're going to take our hot glue gun and go ahead and plug it up and let it be warming up because I may have forgot to do that um, before I started. So while that is warming up, I've got my button container and I have completely emptied all the buttons out of it. I just stashed them away somewhere so I can use them for future projects. I'm going to put the base of the jar down in the belly and then I'm going to glue the lid into the head so that way you can screw the head on and it screws the lid onto the jar. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of the stuffing because I'm not going to be able to fit this lid into this head with all that stuffing in it and I want the lid to fit flush with the edge of the head so you can't really see the lid sticking out but it will still fit onto the jar and turn. I'm going to remove the stuffing out of the body to make room for the jar. Um, I ended up finding out as I did this that I would have to take all of the stuffing out of this Care Bear bottom because the stomach in this Care Bear was padded and by the time the padding was in there, there was, there was barely enough room for the jar. So I did end up taking almost all of the stuffing out of the bottom just so I could get it to fit. Be careful, by the way, when you're doing this, not to rip the back seam of the bear. Some bears have a seam down the back. This one did, it did start coming apart, but I glued it back together. But you don't want it to come all the way apart, all the way down, or you're gonna be having to really do some surgery on this bear. As you can see, the jar is gonna fit down in the body of the bear, just like this. I'm gonna leave the twisty part that the lid twists on hanging out, so that way the lid can fit on it. If it's down inside the bear, you've nowhere to screw your lid to. So now I'm going to take, that was my daughter's head, sorry, she was being nosy. So now I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm just going to attach the bottom jar into the bear just with some hot glue. I'm going to hot glue around the rim and then I'm just going to press the edge of the bear on there. My plan was to kind of fold it over a little bit so the seam looked nice and clean, but that's easier said than done with a hot glue gun, which gets very hot and I did not want to get burned. So although this does not look perfect, when you put the head on, you're not really going to much notice anyways. So here's a little bit closer shot and sorry that I keep getting my head in the shot and I will continue to do that so I apologize ahead of time for that but I was focusing really hard trying to get this jar inside of this body. So I've got a little bit closer here so you can take a good look. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some hot glue and this glue gun got very hot and then I'm just going to take the, I'm going to take the back of the bear and I'm going to try to fold it over and then press it down. But as you can see, I burned myself a few times. So please be careful if you're doing this because it is very, very easy to burn yourself with hot glue and it does not feel good. Um, I would definitely suggest to have an adult do this if you are a child because the hot glue can burn you very easily. I got burnt many, many times. Try not to get any hot glue on the um, twisty part. I'm not really sure what that part's called, where the lid will twist on. Try not to get any glue on that because if you do, it's gonna make the lid hard to twist on and I ended up getting a little on mine. If you get a little on it, you can always cut the glue off. As you can see, my seam was coming apart on the back of my bear, so I kind of just attached it together with some glue. It doesn't look perfect, but it's better than my whole bear falling apart, so if you can keep 
from pulling your seam apart too much while putting your jar in, that would be great. Again, I live and I learn. I learned as I went. But yeah, you can always take a knife and trim the excess glue off of the rim part, like an X-Acto knife or like a, even just some the blade of a pair of scissors and trim the extra glue that might squish up onto the twisty part. I found it handy when excess glue would squeeze out to take just a old glue stick and wipe it across because it kind of would give it a clean, fresh, straight look without me having to actually touch the glue to wipe it off because again, it's hot. So I just went all the way around the bear and I attached the body to the jar until it was completely attached. Next, I'm going to twist my lid on, make sure it still goes on good, and if there's any glue in the way, take a knife or something of that sort and cut off the excess glue that's in the way. Got my jar lid fit onto my jar, snug and the way it's supposed to fit, and now I'm going to take some scissors and I'm gonna snip where the front would be so I know what part to line up with the front head of my bear. Because you don't wanna just glue the lid in randomly if it only goes onto your jar one way, and then when you screw the bear's head on, he's looking around his back. So I did put a little mark on it so I would know exactly what part needs to go in the front center of the bear. And I attached that piece first so I made sure that it was in place and it was not gonna be all crooked and sideways and crazy. Once I got that done, I'm just gonna go around the lid and I'm gonna pretty much do this the same way I did the body. I'm just gonna put some hot glue on and I'm gonna go about like a less than an inch at a time. And I'm going to go all the way around until I have attached until I have attached the lid to the head. Again, I used a glue stick if there were any places I needed to clean up where there was glue squeezing out, and it just made it easy for me to clean it up because a melted glue on a glue stick, I mean, it's not gonna hurt it at all, it's glue. So just take your time doing this because like I said, it is hot. I know I've repeated that multiple times, but it's very hot, very, very painful if you get burned. It's not fun, so. This, I did go all the way down flush to the edge of the lid. The twisty part of the jar will go up in the lid, so it's okay if that part was out hanging out, but I want the lid to be flush with the bottom of the bear, so when the bear sits on his body, it is flush on there and looks nice. It's also gonna try to hide some of the flaws of where I did not attach this in the most beautiful manner. <laughs> I'm going to let this completely dry before I try screwing it onto my jar just because I don't want to risk pulling any of the fabric or anything because sometimes hot glue can take a few minutes to dry. Once that is done, your jar's ready to go. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys like this video. These make great gifts, even if it's just a gift for yourself. I hope you guys enjoy it. And remember, you can do this with any bear, dog, stuffed animal, or any other stuffed soft toy you have. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.